Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to get mod packs for Minecraft Java using Curse Forge. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna make sure is that you have the Curse Forge app. If you don't really have it, you can go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But all you wanna do here is go to your search bar and type in Curse Forge. Once you did this, you should be able to see that you you have a website called curseforge.com, just click on curseforge here and then you should be on the curseforge homepage. All you want to do here is go to the top of the website to get curseforge app and once you click the button, you should see an option to download on Overwolf or download standalone. So this is two different ways of getting it, I prefer standalone to only have one app, but you decide where you want to download to get curseforge. So once you have downloaded curseforge here, you should see that you have a curseforge app after you have installed it of course, and once you click it, you should see forging your library, you should open up like this, and then you have different games you can choose from. All you want to do here is click Minecraft here, and then here you should see set up Curse Forge Minecraft modding folder, you can keep it on standard, and after this you did everything you need to do to start adding mod packs to Curse Forge. Now all you want to do here is go to browse, and there is mod pack that you can choose from. Now, this does choose mod packs by default, but if it is not chosen by default, just click this drop down and you will be able to see mod packs here. Okay, so here we can see that we have plenty of mod packs that we can download. So, for example, if I want to get myself Cobblemon official mod pack for fabric, all we want to do here is just click install here, or if you want specific versions, you can click the box, you can go to versions, and here you have different versions. In this case, when you have two different versions, so 1.1 and 1.20.1, but some of them might have more. So, for example, I'm just gonna get the latest one they have. So, to do so, you simply need to go ahead and click the install button. Okay. And what happens there is that we're now installing Cobble Mar. So, all we wanna do here is just wait a bit, and then we will be able to have. Uh, couple more mod pack. Now, unlike other things, this does not require you to make a different Minecraft install. It just makes one for you all the time, which is pretty useful. So, all we want to do here is just wait for this to finish up, and then we will be able to activate the mod pack, go in Minecraft, and of course add a bit more RAM. So. Here we see that we have downloaded the couple mod official mod pack and all you want to do here is go to my mod packs, you should see it right here, all good, and all you want to do here is click play. From there, it will download Minecraft Launcher and this is a different Minecraft Launcher from the other Minecraft Launcher that you usually get from like the Microsoft Tour or stuff like that. So all you want to do here is simply go ahead and wait for this to download and then we will need to log in again to our Minecraft Java account. So this is our Minecraft launcher here, it is a different color and all you want to do here is click Microsoft login and then we will be able to log in. So I'll just do this right now. Okay, so once we have this we can see that we have our Xbox login here, we can do let's go and then what happens is that it just opens up the Minecraft launcher like the normal Minecraft launcher. Here we are on the main screen, so just click Minecraft Java Edition, and then you will be here. Now, if you want to change RAM because you might use something a bit more demanding than Cobblemon, you can go on Installations, you can hover over Cobblemon, go to the three dots, Edit, More Options, and here you can change the amount of RAMs in megabytes. So I can put, for example, roughly 6 gigabytes in there by just changing the num number in megabytes. So that is how you do this, and then we can just do save, play, and then you can play a couple mods, or any other mod packs of course. So we'll just do play, we'll do understand the risks, and click play, and there you go. So now this is just downloading all the required files, so let's just wait for that to finish. Okay, so in this case it says that we have some outdated mods, so what we can do is just update on no. But I'll just do no in this case, as most mod packs will not have this situation. So, all you want to do here is simply go ahead and go into single player world. But from there, we can clearly see that we have our mod pack, it works. But I'll still make a new world either way.
Okay. And here we see that we have Kabumon. We can see on the top right corner. And we can also see little things which are different from normal Minecraft. So, yeah. You have a little buddy here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that is how we get mod packs for Minecraft Java. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.